This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash gadget TV. Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, and today we're taking a look at the Parrot Mini Kit Smart. This is a pretty much a universal Bluetooth uh, dock for your smartphone. You can get it for about $130 from Parrot's site. Now, what makes this interesting to me is that it, it like I said, it is a universal uh, smartphone dock. So if, if you're, you know, your wife or husband has an iPhone, you're a, a dedicated Android user or a BlackBerry user, uh, you can both use this device. Now, all too often, these kind of things are, they just feel really cheap and, uh, and flimsy. This one's nice and got some nice heft to it. Um, and also is very polite and it always asks you who you want to call. So we can slide this thing up here. Apparently, I'm hitting some buttons. This would be a little easier if I wasn't. Who do you want to call? All right. So let's, uh, let's ask it to stop asking us who we want to call. Who do you want to call? Well, I don't like this thing anymore. All right, so here's, here's what's interesting about this. We have a windshield mount on the back here. We have a two-watt speaker on the back. We have a USB port for charging our phone. So this can be, well, pretty much any phone. You can use your standard uh, iPhone 30-pin uh, connector to, to plug in here and charge up. This is where the cigarette lighter adapter goes. I plug in here and, um, and charge the thing up as you're driving. Windshield mount here. There's a couple of other mounting options in the... Uh, you want holy cow, man. A couple of other mounting options in the box that this thing comes with. Uh, and one other interesting thing here, my word. For the most part, you, uh, the, the voice quality on here is just fine. The microphone's right here. Wow, I hate you. But you can actually pull this thing out if you're in a louder environment. You can pull this out. It comes with a little mount that you can... That's interesting. Uh, you can actually slip this thing onto a uh, visor mount or slip it onto the rear view mirror and have uh, basically improved call quality if you're at, say, high highway speeds where, you know, things get a little harder to understand and hear. Uh, it's on a retractable cord here, so we can just pull it like that and uh, dock it right back here. So as you, can, uh, as, you, as you heard the thing asking me, who do I want to call, it is a Bluetooth um, hands-free solution. Uh, all of the navigation that you're going to be doing on the device is actually using this knob here and uh, pressing here. Volume. So now we can select different options here. Receive now it will sync. It will sync your phone book so we can uh, tap to go in there. It also volume. supports voice dialing. We'll show you volume though really quickly. So if we tap again, we can turn the volume up here or turn it down. Tap again to confirm. So now if, we, uh, if we're actually using this, uh, I think the, the, my favorite thing about this is, is uh, basically a great way to use in-car navigation if it's supported on your phone. So if you have an iPhone, you'll have to download an app. If you have an Android phone, uh, it's native in here, so we can actually choose to navigate. Now via A2DP, uh, all of the voice instructions will actually be coming out of the 2-watt speaker that we showed you on the back. Uh, that's a good thing uh, because all too often the speaker on a, on, a, on a smartphone like this is just not quite loud enough to compete with um, in-car volume. On a, with a 2-watt speaker, you, all, your, all of your instructions are, are nice and clear um, and you can you know, get where you're going uh, much easier. But like I say, paired with the car mode on an Android phone uh, really is a great, way to, a great way to use the device. Now, we mentioned that it's a universal uh, solution. That's probably my favorite thing about it. 130 bucks is a, a little dear. Build quality feels solid, so you know, maybe, that, maybe that's a reasonable price to ask. But just being able to use an iPhone or you know, your current Android phone or your BlackBerry or your next iPhone or your next uh, BlackBerry or your next Android phone really kind of, to my mind, makes it, makes it a worthwhile investment. So that's a quick look at the Parrot Mini Kit Smart. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit Butterscotch.com. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Hover, the easiest way to buy domain names and do more with them. Get 10% off today by visiting hover.com slash gadget TV.